garbage in, garbage out. Science Waste accumulated in our surroundings and is ready for disposal is called as garbage. Garbage is the solid waste, which includes domestic wastes, municipal wastes, and industrial wastes. Domestic wastes are the wastes from our houses. Municipal wastes are the wastes from schools, offices, roads, and shops. Solid waste, which includes domestic wastes, municipal wastes, and industrial wastes. Industrial wastes are the wastes discarded from industries and small factories. A large, low-lying area, used to dispose of garbage is known as a dump. A garbage dump is also used as a landfill. Garbage collectors collect waste, and then dispose it at garbage disposals. Garbage dumps have flies, cockroaches, and mosquitoes, and later turn into breeding grounds for microorganisms that may cause diseases. This is the reason why garbage dumps are usually located on the outskirts of a city. On a long run when garbage mixes with soil, it takes a longer time to decay making the soil loose. Burning of agricultural wastes like dried leaves, husk, etc. releases smoke and harmful gases into the atmosphere. These harmful gases may cause respiratory diseases. Components of Garbage Domestic wastes can be of two types namely, dry wastes and moist wastes. Wastes are collected in two separate types of bins. Blue bins are used to dump recyclable wastes which include glass pieces, glass bottles, plastic waste, old batteries, polythene bags, etc. Green bins are used to dump vegetable, and fruit peels, food remains, the leaves, eggshells, leaves, hair, tissue papers, etc. Dry wastes include newspapers, metallic waste, plastic pieces, broken glass pieces, wooden blocks, and waste rags. These wastes are to be discarded in blue bins, provided by the municipality. Dry wastes can be recycled, and reused. At regular intervals of time they are taken to recycling plants for the process of recycling. These are the wastes which come from our kitchen. They include food remains, vegetable peels, fruit peels and garden waste these are discarded into green bin provided by municipality these can be to obtain manure moist wastes are also used to fill the low-lying areas by converting them into landfills wastes can be decomposed and converted into organic manure by different processes Composting involves conversion of biodegradable wastes into organic manure by burying them in the compost pits. These wastes are decomposed by the action of bacteria and fungi. It is slow and simple process. It causes no harm to the environment. Compost increases the fertility of the soil. It increases the amount of trace elements copper, manganese, and molybdenum in the soil which are essential for growth. Compost increases water holding capacity of the soil. It also improves the texture of the soil. Vermicomposting involves the degradation of organic matter into fertile manure by using a special type of earthworms called as, red worms. The nutrient-rich manure is called as, vermicomposting. 
The process of preparing manure with the help of red worms is called, vermicomposting. The red worm is a type of earthworm that lives in soil rich in organic matter. Organic soils are rich in nitrogen, and carbon with plenty of moisture and microbes. A vermicomposting pit is made with a wooden box or big cement rings. A mesh is spread at the bottom of the pit. Vegetable waste, fruit waste, and waste paper, that is not shiny or coated with plastic, is spread over the mesh. Water is sprinkled to create moisture so that the red worms can live. A vermicomposting pit takes nearly two to four weeks to completely convert waste into manure. The red worms possess a special structure called gizzards, with which they grind food material. A red worm eats food equal to its weight every day. Their castings are used as rich manure. This is called as vermicomposting. Vermicompost should be removed from the pit and dried before use. Vermicompost can be made in three to four weeks. Red worms do not survive in too hot or too cold conditions. Landfill is another method of managing biodegradable wastes. Landfills are large areas used for waste disposal. Garbage thrown into landfills decomposes very slowly and makes the soil loose. As the landfill becomes full, the garbage decomposes and mixes with the soil. This land can be cleaned and converted into a park. Waste management includes collection of wastes, segregation of wastes, cycling of wastes, and treatment of wastes for disposal. Management of non-biodegradable wastes Reduce we have to reduce the amount of waste generation, by lessening the use of disposable items. Ballpoint pens should be replaced by fountain pens. Old newspapers should be used instead of plastic bags. Waste can also be reduced by consuming the necessary amount leaving out less waste. Reuse Many items can be reused for other purposes. Small bottles can be cleaned, and used to saw food items in the kitchen. Soft drink bottles can be reused by refilling the same. Used clothes can be denoted to poor and needy instead of throwing them. Electronics can be donated to others. Recycle It is the essential method to minimize waste. It also helps in using resources in best way. It is more important to reuse things than discard them as waste. Materials like glass pieces, metals, plastics, paper etc. can be recycled to make new ones. Plastic items should be recycled to reduce the pollution they cause in the environment. Plastics which can be recycled up as, recyclable plastics. Harmful effects of plastics Though plastic is easy and comfortable to use, it is very harmful in terms of health and environment. Polythene bags are one kind of plastic which are non-biodegradable and cause environmental pollution. Plastics undergo a process known as photodegradation, in which they break down into smaller, and smaller toxic particles. These particles contaminate soil and water, and enter the food chain, when eaten accidentally by animals, like cows. Polythene bags are very dangerous, that they can cause the death of the cattle. Plastic materials discarded into aquatic resources cause death of huge number of aquatic organisms. Plastics in the form of polythene bags are also responsible for the clogging of drainage systems. 
Plastics take several years to decompose. Plastic is used in various forms in our daily life. Plastics are not suitable for storing cooked food as they emit harmful chemicals when they are exposed to high temperatures. Using plastics causes health problems. Burning of plastics emits harmful gases which cause cancer in living beings. Hence, plastics should be disposed of in the right way. Plastics that do not contain the chemical BPA, are usually licensed for storing food items. Plastics thrown casually get into drains, and sewage often blocking the way, and cause water logging. Measures to reduce dangerous effects of plastics Reduce, reuse, and recycle plastics. Carry jute or cloth bags for shopping. Do not store food items in plastic bags. Do not burn plastic items. Recycling of paper Paper is recycled in industries to regenerate new paper. Paper that is suitable for recycling is called scrap paper. You can recycle old newspapers, magazines, notebooks, and used envelopes. Waxed papers, oil soaked papers, paper contaminated with food, carbon paper, thermal fax paper, plastic laminated paper, and stickers cannot be recycled.